This post walks you through a typical mechanical PE exam question in the category of engineering economics. So first, the problem. A client is contemplating on purchasing a new high efficiency pump and motor with an initial cost of $10,000. The pump has a lifetime of 15 years and is estimated to save approximately $1,000 per year. There is an additional maintenance cost of $300 per year associated with this new pump. The pump will have a salvage value of $0 at the end of its lifetime and assume the interest rate is 4%. What is the annual value of the pump? Is it A, negative $499, B, negative $199, C, $199, or D, $499? The first step is to gather your resources. For this problem, we need the economic factor tables located at the end of your mechanical engineering reference manual. The next step is to visualize the cash flow diagram. At year zero, you have an initial cost of $10,000, then you have monetary gains of $1,000 per year throughout the 15-year lifetime, and maintenance costs along with that at $300 per year. There is no salvage value at the end of the lifetime. The problem asks that you find the annual value of the pump. This is done by converting all cash flows to annual values and summing them together. In order to convert the initial cost, use the A over P term found in your factor tables. The maintenance and saving items are already in annual terms and do not need to be converted. And finally, there is no salvage value that needs to be converted. The factor value tables. Go to the correct table identified by an interest rate of 4%. Then find the correct factor value that you're looking for, in this case is A over P. And finally, navigate to the intersection of the correct amount of years, which is 15 years, and read the corresponding value. Putting it all together, we take the maintenance costs, the savings, both all in annual terms. We get the converted initial costs, shown here, and we sum them up together to get the annual value of the pump as negative $199. For more problems and more information on engineering economics, please visit the website.